Well, hello there, my gaming people. This is your fabulous host, Viect, here, and I'm back in EG, and this would be part number seven. And uh, things are actually starting to get quite intense now that I'm almost at the very end, I think. I think there's like two bosses left, so uh, as you can see here, the Kamata forces are just ahead, and uh, I think this is... Uh, it's going to be the third time that I meet the uh, assassin, the Komota assassin. And uh, he's got uh, quite some tricks up his sleeve, if, uh, if I may say it like that. So, uh, it's been a while since I actually played uh, stage 7. So, I can't like remember everything, but I do remember that, uh, as you can see here by Dan's advice, that it's going to get very dangerous. But... Uh, the number one pro tip here would be to upgrade your health because uh, there's quite a lot of things that will try to kill you and there's also uh, like uh, traps and crap like that but here we go and as you can see I also got like uh, one of the most powerful we weapons in the game but uh, the aliens can actually dodge them, so you have to be smart when you use them or you're, you're just gonna waste your ammo. So uh, keep that in mind, and also I should point out that they can actually reverse your attack so you get hit by your own bullets and shells and so on. So I guess that uh, the best way is to <laughs> fint them, or how I should say. Because, uh, well, uh, uh, just like you saw there, they can reverse your own shots against yourself. And the big guys are the most dangerous uh, aliens so far, at least when it comes to non-bosses. Because they pretty much are mini-bosses, in my opinion. They are almost more dangerous than the actual bosses, uh, at least some of them. Because they got, I think it's like three attacks or something like that. Oh Christ, there's two of them downstairs. And like a million of those, uh, uh, you know, mini versions. But uh, if you are clever and fast and <laughs> lucky, then it's not gonna be a problem. And of course it's a pro tip to try to avoid to get shot, which I didn't do there. It's almost like guerrilla warfare in a way. Oh, that hurt. And I don't know if I actually mentioned it, but uh, Idi are quite... Uh, well, it's been uh, uh, taking a lot of inspiration from uh, System Shock 2. I mean, uh, Daniel Rammer, uh, the actual maker of Idi, actually point out that uh, Idi are pretty much a 2D version of uh, System Shock 2 and I have to admit that that's a pretty good way to describe it and uh, that's, a, that's also one of the reasons why I really enjoy this game one of the many reasons actually because uh, I think it's uh, one of the very best uh, 2D platform games ever made and I mean it's free to play so there you go there's actually no reason at all uh, not to give Idi a try. And uh, there's also quite a lot of uh, like plot and uh, story behind the game. Because as you might have noticed if you have watched my videos, I just skipped those uh, parts because uh, there would be quite a lot of spoilers and it would obviously take forever for me to read them all. So I, I just skip all the log books and such. Because it's uh, obviously no entertainment value for me to read them out loud. Uh, and there's so many of them as well. So I would very... Uh, I mean, I would definitely recommend that you read them for yourself. Because or else the story and plot won't make that much uh, sense. 
I mean, it would be like just reading one chapter of uh, Lord of the Rings and skip the rest. I mean, it's just... <laughs> it will be very confusing and make no sense whatsoever. And now I got one point, I see. So, I'm gonna spend them wisely, I hope. <laughs> if I found some uh, upgrade stations. I hate those bastards more than anything else. I bet that's how England felt uh, yesterday when they lost to Uruguay. Things uh, started off really good when Rooney did that goal there, but then things went to hell. And this is pretty much the same thing. It's all about hell. But so far I'm loving kicking, so uh, hopefully I'm gonna keep on doing that. I actually don't remember what happens if you die in ED because I haven't died so far but I think it's like in Prince of Persia that you have to play the level from the start or perhaps it's like if you have come to a save point that you respawn there but I guess I'm to find out how that works okay some cracking now that went well actually the cracking skill are my worst so far in this game because uh, I have spent pretty much everything on alien weapons. Yeah, the weaponry. Uh, I think this is just before when you go up to the ship above. Because as you see, I'm supposed to destroy something called the Phantom Hammer, which are a alien weapon that's supposed to like destroy Earth or something like that. So I, I'm basically going to do a kind of <laughs> attack on the ship above. So I need to stack up on weapons, health and try to upgrade whatever I can. Yet another crack attempt and that went well. Normally I mess up those but the, it's a combination of uh, both luck and skill because uh, it's uh, randomized uh, those dots in the mini hack game there so I would say it's like 50% luck and 50% uh, skill and yes uh, upgrading your health is a very good idea because uh, uh, you're not gonna survive on uh, <laughs> if you don't have enough health you're gonna understand what I mean when I'm up in the ship here and now I'm above the I mean inside a Komoto ship. And this is pretty much where things is gonna go from worse to even worse. Oh great. <laughs> that went well. Okay, I'm gonna screw that. Try something else. Okay, I rocket in your face. Second rocket in your face. And oh, no, that didn't work. That didn't work either. I fucking hate these guys. I honestly think it's it's better to use like uh, shotgun or the machine gun because those bastards just uh, reverse pretty much everything you shoot at them when it comes to rockets and uh, those uh, alien kind of grenade launcher. So it's pretty much just waste of ammo unless you uh, attack them by surprise. Okay, a torrent. That shoots alien. Well, it makes sense. I'm on board an alien ship. Never mind. Uh, this is almost like a labyrinth kind of thing. Well, as long as I'm surviving and getting somewhere, then it's cool. Okay, well, that went well. I'm trying to do a surprise attack here, you know, death from above and all that. This is pretty tricky, okay. First attempt fail. I'm gonna do it the second time then. Because uh, taking so many aliens head on would be pretty much suicidal, so I'm gonna do a. Well, try to do a surprise attack here. Because I know that there's a whole bunch of aliens underneath me here. And those uh, kind of. Crab-like alien creatures are actually suicidal bombers. 
so you don't want to get hit by those. The best way to take care of them is by far, you know, from a far distance. Because even if they don't hit you directly, you will get hit by the explosions. Which uh, hurts quite a lot, as you saw earlier here. Okay, the first one ducked, but that one didn't. Oh, I fucking hate when they use their plasma, their plasma weapon. Because it burns right through my armor. Oh, great. The assassin again. And as far as I know, the only way to kill him is to use the shotgun. Oh, holy shit, that was lucky as hell. I barely avoid his uh, laser attack there. I don't actually think that you can crunch and shoot. I, at least I know that you can jump and shoot. Oh, nice. I got hit with a laser katana in my face. Plastic surgery gone wrong, pretty much. Well, I won that fight, but <laughs> sad enough that guy's gonna show up. Plenty more times before this game is over. Okay, another cracking attempt. Oh, that was close. Close indeed. And if I'm not wrong, uh, further on in the game, it's actually gonna be critical that you succeed the crack uh, cracking attempts because you're gonna run out of ammo pretty fast. Let's see if I can take these assholes out. Okay, the first one. Okay, he didn't dodge, so I won. And there's yet another computer terminal and something got unlocked. I just have to find what door opened and which ones are still closed. But uh, I have to say that it's uh, way easier to navigate in EG than it ever was in System Shock 2. But then again, System Shock 2 are like a way bigger game. And there's like uh, millions of uh, rooms and such to explore. And if you haven't ever played System Shock 2, then I would recommend you to do so, because it's a very, very good game. And if you ever have thoughts on doing so, then I would also recommend that you use uh, mods and I think there's like unofficial patches as well. Because it's gonna give you like the best kind of, you know, gameplay experience. And look who's back again. It's the Komoto Assassin, again. But uh, this time I got explosive uh, shotgun shells. So hopefully I shall win uh, easier this time. At least in theory. <laughs> theory indeed. Oh shit, that didn't work that well. And the best way to win would actually be to move around and, of course, uh, use your reflexes. Okay, that didn't work that well. So that's like the second time he has lost on this stage, but I think I'm gonna meet him a third time as well. But I'm not 100% sure about that, so I guess I have to wait and see. But as long as I win, it doesn't really matter. And that's the hammer weapon, which were mentioned earlier. But uh, I'm gonna take care of all the enemies uh, first before I blow it up. Which there are quite a few of here. A handful actually. Okay, that didn't work. Oh Christ, he dodged that one. Oh, oh, oh that was close. See if there's anyone still alive. Yes, one left. No, that didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna use the plasma weapon then. <laughs> Talk about uh, head-on combat there. 
Uh, see now, now I'm supposed to destroy that uh, hammer weapon because nope, that door can't be opened before. Unless I have a, like a crack skill 20. Come on then. Ah oh, shit. Shoot! Okay, now what? Uh, see if I can... Oh, great. Well, that didn't work that well, but shit happens. Now I'm gonna destroy this. Yep, now the Phantom Hammer is destroyed. And all the Antichrist doors, or what they're supposed to be, are now opened. And I can't go back the same way I came, so there's just one way to go, and that's up. And through the doors. And I bet that there's like a whole goddamn army waiting for me here. Yes, indeed. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Pain indeed. Okay, I think I'm just gonna run because this is not. No, this fight is not going uh, my way. Screw it. I have too little ammunition to win that fight. Ah, <laughs> well, well, well. What the bastard. Oh, man, what the fuck? Get the shit together. Hard to kill as hell. Huh. That took a while. Okay, talk about drop. Oh, shit. Now there's two of them. See if I can <laughs> have a chance in hell to win this. The old saint exactly on my side. No. I think I better skip this because this is not going my way. You need way more heavy weaponry to win over those guys. Okay, that one I can't. Well, okay, if I had strength 4 then I could kick the door open, but. I only have like strength 3, I think. Yeah, looks like it. So, no. Okay, I destroyed a huge weapon up there. You, yep, yeah, you don't say. More time for what? <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere. So, time is pretty much not the biggest concern. I mean, they seem to have all the resources in the universe, so... I actually don't remember how EG ends, so... It's gonna be kind of a surprise for me as well. I mean, you got like two alien races going ape shit on Earth. So one might wonder how it's all gonna end. And I mean, even if... <laughs> Humanity wins, which probably is the case. What will be left of Earth? I mean, it has to look like... I don't know, Detroit or something like that. All messed up. Health and attack. Well, that uh, seems like a logic choice at this time. Ah, okay. It's those guys. And that guy. That's uh, pretty much the only guy that you have to worry about when it comes to... Uh, Tarsen, yes, that's their name. Uh, and the best way to take care of the big guys is actually to use the plasma weapon because uh, they get all locked up for some reason when you use it. You know, the green plasma weapon. And when it comes to these uh, smaller dudes, the only thing you have to worry about pretty much is their rocket launcher attack. But uh, Normally you kill them before they even get the chance to use it. And I have to say that uh, these crab alien creatures are probably the most annoying enemies in the whole game. Well that was pretty easy. 
but uh, I need to upgrade my Tarsen and Komoto skills because I can't use the most powerful weapons in the game without it. And I don't even think that you can actually win the game without them. Well, it's probably possible, but it's <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hard to do so. I think I need like level 10 of both. So I'm gonna see if I can manage to get that many points to, you know, get those upgrade done and made. See how this goes. It's like a <laughs> cat and mouse game, pretty much. Hide and seek, but with heavy weaponry. Uh, huh. Oh, ho, ho, that was close. Ah, crap. I almost did it flawless. I messed up at the end, sadly enough. Okay, two of them and... <laughs> talk about bullying there. Two against one. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, holy shit, I just... <laughs> I, I fucking bounce all over the place. Uh, see if I can take care of these two. Buggers. Oh yeah, suicide attack. Oh, kick to my face. I have heard the uh, expression kickstart your day, but not <laughs> by getting kicked in the face by, by a big mechanic avian. But at least I won. And I think this is at the very end of this stage, actually. What the hell is that? <laughs> it looks like something from Terminator or something like that. Okay, identification. Uh, what? Uh, something takes its countdown to extinction. You know, the Megadeth song. This would be very suiting. Uh, weakness. Ah, yes, the terminals and the electric pads. Uh, you see those? Or that terminal just above me here. Uh, you're supposed to push those when you have kicked in the ball into the electric. Uh, uh, what the fuck is it called? Electric pad or electronic field or whatever. Like that. But, okay, it takes some time for the terminal to power up. Uh, oh, great. I'm supposed to kick it in the other direction. All this kicking made me think about eh, the england Uruguay match yesterday. We all know how that went. Not very well, at least not for England. And I honestly have no idea why England sucks so much at soccer nowadays. I actually had a pretty nice uh, discussion with... Uh, yeah, a follower on Twitter yesterday about that, because uh, we both agree that England haven't been uh, good at soccer for the last <laughs> 40 years. I mean, they kick it very much uh, ass back in the 60s, but the 60s wasn't exactly yesterday. And I don't actually know why England ain't that good at soccer anymore, at least not when it comes to, you know, the World Cup. So, obviously, something needs to be done. Or else they're just gonna end up like this big, gigantic electronic ball here. Just getting his ass kicked. Oh, shit. And if I'm not totally wrong now, those uh, terminals are gonna take longer and longer uh, time to recharge. So this is just gonna get more and more intense, and I'm running out of life as well. Komoto Sensual Proxima. I have no idea what that means, but I know it's deadly. Oh crap, that was close, but not close enough. Come on. And I think one more hit would do the trick. Oh, shit. One more time, as Daft Punk would have said. 
Oh shit. Uh, come on then. Get down. See if I can win this. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, yes. I won. I freaking won. It's over. That was tough indeed. It's all about timing. Yep, the security is getting rather extreme, but I get news for you. It's gonna get far worse than this. Because I'm actually gonna have a one-on-one -on -one fight with the Komoto Assassin. Well, this would be pretty much it, so... Like always, if you like what you have seen, then please subscribe and feel free to comment. And I'm just gonna wish you guys a very good day. So, this is React signing out. Take care, people. Bye-bye.